everyone, and welcome to TWF NXT 2.0. I am Gene Oakland, here with Trini Kwan and with Wade Barrett. And today on NXT 2.0, we're going to have a show we haven't had in some time. We're going to have Miz TV. We have, we're going to have Miz TV, Gene Oakland said. Well, that's right, Trini Kwan said. We're going to have Miz TV, and it's time for the Miz and Maurice Mazinian to have their dealings with someone else besides himself for once, Trini Kwan said. And you know who they're talking about? The Miz is going to have on Miz TV, MJF, Maxwell Jacob Fardman, a man who the Miz was a teammate with. Until they, until he dropped the ball, Wade Barrett said. The other way around, I think that it was the Miz who lost the match, not MJF. Hi everyone, and welcome to the most wanted, most seen talk show and all of the TWF coming back. Greater than the Kevin Owens show, greater than the Cutting Edge, greater than the Highlight Reel, Piper's Pit, King's Court, the Funeral Parlor, Bro Love Show, you name it, greater than the Dude Love Shack, hell, greater than the Peep Show, hell, greater than whatever show Dean Ambrose did, the Ambrose Asylum, you know, and greater than that. So, today, I'm going to have a man who I did have some onlook for when he first came into the TWF, but now my onlook for him is not there anymore. You know, some folks in this world think they're greater than others. And I know there are some folks in this world who will say, Miz, you think you're greater than everyone else. Look at you, Miz. You think you're greater than everyone else. You know, you got a you you bought a big a big house. You have two great, two great kids. But, do I truly think I'm greater than everyone else? The answer would be no. Because that's myself. The Miz. As Michael Mazinian, I know that it was hard work that got me to where I was at. And I never ever forgot where I came from and who I was. I can't say the same for who I'm going to speak with for MJF. Oh, that's right, the Miz said. You're right, Maurice Mazinian says. You know, MJF seems to think that he's greater than everyone else, and he likes to throw, he likes to scare everyone else for behaviors and mindsets that he himself does. So, Miz, were you going to talk shit about me? Because I'm right here. So, Miz, let's talk about Onlook. Since you're so much in Onlook these days. Only the last time I checked, Miz, you don't have Onlook for anyone or anything. Yeah, me and you, Miz, we may have had things that were the same. We shared things that were the same. But, Miz, after you dropped me on my leer... You got no room to speak of, Miz. You like to talk about all you like to talk you like to talk about all the things that I did wrong and I said and did, Miz. Hey, I can bring up a lot of stuff about you, Miz. Yeah, Miz, you truly do think you're greater than everyone else. Yeah, you do. You talk about it all the time. You know? You come out on WWE since 2006 YL asking for onlook believing that since you were a show player now wrestler that you should have the onlook and oh Miz I'll give you all the thanks in the world cause I know you worked hard to go from living in Cleveland Ohio wanted rights to Los Angeles California wanted rights Bought a house, which I don't know if you fully paid off, owed off or not. 
have a wife, two good kids, but somehow deep down inside, you still think the whole world should onlook you. Why? Because you're a wrestler, you're a show player, because your kin name is Mizinian. Now, I know, Miz, that you seem to think you're greater than everyone else. One thing I never, ever said about anyone. Truly, truly, MJF, you're going to scave me. How about I scave you for all your behaviors? The shit you did in JCW, in ZC, JCW. You did in ZZW, and MLW, and NWA, and AW. How you like to go around and say everyone is kind, hating, everyone is this and that. But I know you feel that I know you're a creep to kids. Yeah, you're mean to kids. That's something I never am. So when you scave me and shame me and guilt me for my behavior and my mindset, I can scave you for yours. You seem to think that everyone should onlook you because you're Jewish. You seem to think that it's all right to be mean to kids and tweens. Shame on you. The big unlikeness between me and you is, is that I never been an offshoot of anyone else. The Miz is the Miz. You, MJF, are nothing more than a, a Ethan Carter third wannabe. That's all you are. You're nothing like me. And I'm sorry I teamed up with you. Because you let me down. And somehow, someway, you won the King of Loudness. And you're going to fight Bobby Lashley or Roman Reigns. Oh yeah, you beat CM Punk in the AW. Great for you. Who hasn't beat CM Punk? If CM Punk was still in WWE, I would gave him a skull crashing finale, and he would have ran off WWE. He would have ran away from WWE too. Hey, you ran him out of AW. That's great for you. You want to have a fight right here? I think Maurice Mazinian says that MJF is nothing more than a weakling who likes to scave and shame and guilt others, but doesn't like it when others shame and scave and guilt him. Ain't that right? This has nothing to do with your worship. It has nothing to do with who you are. It has you being a creep. How about me and you wrestle here today, MJF? You can just think of that as WWE, fight AEW if you want. Yeah, I think so. I think we'll have a fight right here. Well, it looks like we're going to have that fight, Gene Oakland said, between MJF and The Miz. And the fight lord can't stand up anymore. Come on, stand up. Well, Neening. And oh, MJF going right after The Miz here. Knocks down the Fight Lord again. The Fight Lord. It's like laying like a drunk, Gene Oakland said right there. Clothesline down. MJF takes down the Miz. MJF. Irked at the Miz. Angry. Mad at the Miz. Gene Oakland said for scathing him on Miz TV, Gene Oakland said. Yeah, you got that right. He should have every right to be scathed. How dare he scave and shame and guilt the Miz when he's guilty of the same things, Wade Barrett said. Well, MJF might be guilty of some stuff, but he never comes out and asks anyone, ever doesn't, ask, ever doesn't come out and ask anyone to onlook him, Trini Kwan said. I'm like the Miz, it's onlook me for being a show player, onlook me for being a wrestler, onlook me for this and that. You know, oh, the drop kick. And the Miz is not having, not doing very well, Trina Kwan said. Maurice Mazinian just grabbed MJF's leg. The Fight Lord saw that. You're out of here! Get out! Well, the Fight Lord just threw Maurice Mazinian, the former two time WWE Divas. Women's heavyweight, Divas heavyweight fighter, 
or nowadays a former yeah oh oh mjf just gave the skull crossing the miz just gave a skull crossing finale to mjf that's just sad gene oakland said yes it is trini kwan said oh wait barrett said it looks like mjf's gonna lose again one two three Ding 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 ding. Here is your winner, The Miz. So The Miz and Maurice Mazinian have beat MJF here on NXT 2.0. And still, Gene Oakland says we still don't know what the 2.0 means. We still don't know what the 2.0 means in the name. Fuck, come on. There we go. Well, you can, you can, you can say ever whatever you want to say. Uh, Wade Barrett says the shoe let his shoe binds were untied. The sun was in his eyes. Whatever. At the end of the day, the Miz beat MJF. And even if his, even if Maurice Mazinian helped him, the Miz is still the winner. And they can't take that away from him, Wade Barrett said. Well, that might be true, but Jim Ross, that might be true, Gene Oakland said. But after winning a match like that, I don't see how he could be happy and glee and glad of himself. Gene Oakland said, sadly, Trini Kwan said, folks like The Miz, they don't care. They don't care how they win. They'll be happy and glad and glee of any win. No need what they do. Well, I under, uh, Trini Kwan said, I understand Gene Oakland said, Jim Ross is going to, is going to talk with The Miz. All right, Miz. I have known you since 2006 YL when you first came to WWE after being in the MTV's True World show and also being in Tough Enough. And I'll tell you what, how can you live with yourself when you get those kind of wins? Oh yeah right Jim Ross, you gonna say that when some motherfucker like MJF does it in AEW? See I know that you're gonna spin it that I'm guilty. Well, guess what? MJF is guilty of a lot of shit, too, if you're going to guilt me for the same stuff. You see, MJF, I beat him. I beat Maxwell Jacob Fardman. And had, and I beat him with, with my wisdom. And I beat him. It had nothing to do with the worship. It had nothing to do with the, with the kind hating, the mom, whatever the fuck he likes to guilt everything on. It had just me dropping him. Well, you do know, Miz, that your wife, Maurice Mazinian, who has been your on and off overseer for most, for a lot of your run in WWE, helped you with that win. Yes, Maurice Mazinian helped, yes, Maurice helped me, like any wife would do. You see, MJF, if he was wise like me, he would have had someone watching his back. But no, he fired whoever he had watching his back in AEW. So how do you like that, MJF? I beat you. So you're going to get me on look now. As a wrestler, as a show player, as a father, as a husband, as a damn over, as a good living being. And I'll tell you something, Jim Ross. The truth was you weren't really high on my husband when he came into WWE. You told Johnny you weren't too high with my husband when he came in at WWE. Even though you no longer were the head of skill dealings, you did everything in your oversight to hold him down. So don't scave him for beating MJF. I don't even know what she's talking about. I didn't do anything to hold down the Miz and WWE. That's it. I'm back. That's all I have. Back to you, Gene Oakland. Well, thank you, Jim Ross, for talking with The Miz here on NXT 2.0. And it looks like it is all the time we got here for NXT 2.0. I am Gene Oakland for Trini Kwan and Wade Barrett. We hope you like NXT 2.0. And we'll see you tomorrow for Dynamite or Strength or Might.